Okay, uh, brother, after clicking on uh, that what the icon, uh, 2019 version 1, uh, we will see this GUI. So after that, uh, you will go to the create project. After uh, creating the uh, like project, uh, we will see this window. Go to next and change this project one with your name, whatever the name of your project is. So next, so uh, after that you will select. You will select RTL project. And these are the source files that uh, we may add uh, now or later as uh, your convenience. So I will add these files later. Go to next. Next. These are the by default values as uh, like your supervisor mentioned that you may select the by default setting go to next finish uh, after opening the new project we will like see this window and go to this design source add source files from here add or the create design source like next add files from the source file where you like place your source files so these are the source files that you shared with me uh, these are the four files the first one is memory io282 with uh, extension 3 I'm selecting this as by default click ok and finish this file will be open like the code of this file will be like open these are the source files like this one in this source file has a, a like subsection after like opening this i will go to check the code of this file by selecting all the double click on this section you will see the code of this file this is the actual code file that you shared with me. Uh, in this file, I just change the part from part 1, part 2, part 3, and part 4. I just I, I, I added uh, the code in this file as a single file, like you can see, at the part 4. In the part 4, that I have like uh, made a separate file. Instead, this one. If you want to check in the graph of this part one, I'm just selecting this file as an uncomment, and these three lines of the program zero that you already had, it will go for the simulation. Uh, select this run behavior simulation this will take some time and this will show us uh, the graph that we added in our report the file is like updating and generating the graphs of the bit sequence for part 1 it will take some time for the simulation purpose 